first day of the week. First, let's go clock in. 在线打卡 clock in at 19 past seven. Okay, let's go. What's the next job? The next job is to charge up my dead watch. I've been using this watch for a week. All right, good. My I think first let's do some push-ups. Change into the suit and then let's start working. Do a series of tests. I'm gonna do the time lapse with uh, with the drones. I'm gonna use. DJI Spark and the uh, Fenton 4 Pro to uh, make a comparison video. See which drone stays in the air a lot better. Thirty push-ups and let's put things away. How many times have I forgotten to bring one of these from Fun Club? Numerous times. Today, let's test out some of the tripods in the air. I mean, the DJI Spark and the DJI Phantom 4 Pro. These drones are quite stable in the air. It's not heavy wind day. I'm gonna make a time lapse video of the construction site ahead of me and uh, compare the videos and find out which drone is more stable in the air. I think the answer is quite clear. The Phantom 4 might be the winner. But who knows? Hey, let's see. I'm gonna record the videos in the format of 1080p, 30 frames per second in MP4 format, and then I'll fast forward them and see the the outcome of the time lapse video. Both drones are in the air now. They have different field of view. Phantom 4's field of view is wider; it's a lot wider than the DJI Spark. I found out another reason why you can't land in the Not suitable for landing. This place is not suitable for landing. Now the battery capacity is zero percent. What? 飞机电量为百分之零，开玩笑，百分之零了还不着陆 ？Critically low voltage warning， 好，不得不着陆了。最后，虽然不适合着陆，但是它还是会着陆，所以不要信它哦。如果下面是水的话，它还是照样会着陆在水上面。最后，飞机自动将自己的电源切断了。所以录像也自然停止了，到此时此刻。好，我们的测试完成了。